Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. I always get up in the mornings on a Tuesday and a Thursday and thinking, please, God, let there be some disaster or some moron that's done something horrible that I can go on and take the piss out of. So I always have a little flick through the papers and find out who's gone pissing me off. And more importantly, who is pissing you off? But here's the good news or the bad news deciding which camp you are in. I love camp. Right. Harry is coming. Oh, that sounds like a headline in the sun, doesn't it? When he was in that jacuzzi, <laughs> dressed as Hitler, taking drugs. Harry is coming to the wedding, but Meghan is not coming. Not the wedding, it's to the funny uh, coronation for our king and our queen. Um, so P Prince Harry is coming, uh, but uh, Meghan isn't coming. And this is very interesting why. Apparently, he's not going to do the procession uh, to the, the church where, where the do is. It's like when you're invited to a wedding, isn't it? Miles is here today. Mr. and Mrs. Crawford are here. You know Miles Crawford. And, uh, and he's saying downstairs, you know, Jim, you know, there's only so many people you can invite to a wedding. Oh, I fell out with so many people because it was a small venue. Well, the king's probably used that excuse. Um, Harry is dead. Uh, look, you can come. There's no room for the wife. <laughs> Why does the king sound like Boris Johnson then for a second? But never mind. So Harry is coming and it's caused outrage by what th this is a woman. I don't know this woman, uh, but she's obviously African because of her name, uh, which would be worth 20,000 points in Scrabble. Um, she's a British and a Nigerian lawyer, British Nigerian. I don't quite know what that means. You've come from Nigeria and, and now you live here, British, or were you born here and live? So I... You see, I love Nigerians because they're the people from the street, aren't they? You know, I wouldn't say scallywags, no, but they never miss a trick. And I have to say this because my nephew is a prince, don't you know? Uh, and, and my late brother John's uh, daughter, uh, his wife, is a queen. So it, this is great. This is where it goes wrong. In Nigeria, if you're a prince, your wife is the queen. So she automatically outranks you. Well, they do anyway, don't they? I must say that to my own if ever I see her again. Right, here we go then. So her name is Shola Mosashaga Baby Inni. Shola Mosashaggy Baby Inni. She says, she says, good for Megan not coming. She's a good wife. Why would you want to go uh, to somewhere where you don't get on with your in-laws? How can you say that? As if the in-laws are just normal. How many in-laws are on stamps? This is the king and the queen. You can't just say, oh, no, but, uh, my wife doesn't get on with the, the in-laws. You know, I can imagine Meghan and her people sitting around at a Tupperware party doing um, you know, mother-in-law jokes. It doesn't work. There's another issue. Archie's birthday is May the 6th. OK. <sighs> dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. So there you go. So Harry is coming. Uh, Meghan isn't. They're saying that Meghan uh, wouldn't come because she'd be booed by the public. What's your views on that? A big crowd here today. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't think us Brits are uh, that bad enough to, to, yeah. to boo a, a woman and, uh, and, and whatever. But anyway, let's hope it's a, a good old day. Uh, we've got a busy time in May. And I just want to tell you now that I'm very, very pleased because John Maloney has joined the cast of The Comedians. John is a, a lefty comedian that's funny. I mean... <laughs> Could, you couldn't make this up. He really is. I've written some stuff for him in the past. He tore it up, of course. But I still wrote it. And he is coming to the comedian. So now on the list here is, now cop for this. This is the 17th and 18th at the Gaiety Bar in Southsea. Okay? Now the 17th show, the same comedians, apart from the odd change, and the 18th, they're two different shows. All the comics are doing two sets. Okay, so here we go. Day one, Jimmy Jones. This is the two, two days, two days. Jimmy Jones. Me, I got the billing slightly wrong there. Uh, Bobby Davro, Mike Osman, who are the same person. Uh, John Maloney with the cat, the stressed cat. Ricky Lane, who is an offspring of Bernard Manning. Uh, Jerry Kay is a nice man of a Caribbean heritage, I think. That's a nice way of saying he's black. And Duncan Norvell, who used to, his catchphrase was, chase me, chase me. Now it's push me, push me. He's not been very well after a stroke. And talking of someone that's had many strokes, Gary Bushell. Gary Bushell from the, uh, the, the, the Sunday Express now. He's been in so many papers. He's been in more newspapers than chips and fish. That doesn't sound right, does it? Chips and fish. It's fish and chips, isn't it? I always have uh, a large cod, not too many chips, 
and two pickled onions and a Fanta. But there you go. Right, folks, here we go. Just before we move on to Ustream, I've got to mention some of the gollywogs. Okay, the golly... <laughs> I, I, I saw a sign up saying, free the Essex 15 with a picture of these gollywogs. Now, this is what is going to happen. Listen to, I can't say it on here because Facebook will ban me. And Miles Crawford is six foot four and 20 stone and he'll punch me because he says he doesn't look like a gollywog. He's not affected. He fucking doesn't look like that. Let's turn the page. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video and want to see more, be sure to go to ustream.com and sign up. If you're a cheapskate, click subscribe down below and then turn notifications on so you never miss another video.